pull up in a monster automobile gangster with a bad bitch that came from Sri Lanka. Yeah, I'm in a tanka, color a Willy Wonka. You could be the king, but watch the queen come. Okay, first things first, I'll eat your brain. Then I'ma start rocking gold teeth and fame. Cause that's what a motherfucking monster do. What's up, guys? It's Dan here for my top 10 designer fragrances of 2010. Now, these necessarily aren't fragrances that were released this year. What I did is I went through all of my past reviews throughout 2010, and if I only had 10 fragrances to walk away with out of them all, these are the 10 that I would choose. Now, these aren't necessarily in any order. That's kind of really hard to do, and it was kind of really hard to pick 10. I've done a lot of reviews this year, but I did it. And uh, here we go. At number 10, I have got John Bervados Original. Love this one. You know, warm, rich, cherry vibe type of scent. Great for fall and winter. Now, at number nine, I have chosen Fahrenheit from Dior. Another one I love. You know, I love the originality out of this from a designer house. Love the motor oil garage smell out of it. You know, uh, just awesome. Now, at number eight, I have chosen Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. Now, I don't care what anybody says. I don't care how many people wear it, because frankly, in my world, nobody does. And I don't care if people think that it's for uh, a younger person. I personally don't think so. I think it's done so well that uh, even an older gentleman can pull this off quite fantastic. And the ladies flip and love it, so you gotta dig that. <laughs> now, at number seven, I have Angel Men from Thierry Mugler. Now, with this one, another excellent scent for the winter time. Uh, just a chocolate coffee vibe to it. Just excellent. You know, lasts forever. Uh, just a real rich, warm smell. Now, at number six, I have got Chanel Allure Home Sport. This one is a magnificent beast, as I'm sure you all know. Longevity is great on me. Projection is great. Uh, just a heavier, creamier type of fresh scent, which I adore, which I think is flipping fantastic. Now, at number five, I have got John Barbados Vintage. Love this one as well. Another great fall, winter type of scent. Warm and rich. Got the really nice sweet rhubarb note in it. Love it. Great. Now, at number four, I have chosen Dior Homme Sport. Love this one. You know, if I had one fresh fragrance to walk away with this year, that would be it. I think that one is definitely underplayed and deserves more attention. Uh, it's got a little little different kind of twist to it with the ginger there and the longevity rocks. Uh, people love it. You get compliments, so you got to love that. Now, at number three, uh, I have Burberry London. Who in the hell doesn't love this one? <laughs> this one is great. You know, one of the best smells ever created by man. And I've said that so many times, but it is true. Just a really uh, rich, boozy vibe to it. Oh, scrumptious as hell. Love that one. Now, at number two, I have got Terry Hermes by Hermes. This one, uh, of course, I love. You know, it's got a real earthy quality to it. Uh, with the grapefruit in there. Just love this one. And if you get the Parfum version, it's a stank beast. So I appreciate that, you know. <laughs> I appreciate that a lot. Now, at number one, uh, I have picked Encre Noir from Lalique. Man, do I love this stuff. You know, just a real stanky, dirty, smoky, woody vetiver. You know, and coming from a designer house, awesome. You know, that is a vetiver that I can buy a big bottle of for like 40 bucks and I don't feel bad about spraying it all over. Spraying it on the pillows at night before I go to sleep. Oh, love sleeping with the stank of vetiver around my head. Oh, just great. <laughs> I'm nuts. <laughs> but whatever, you know. But uh, that's it, guys. That is my top 10 designer frags for 2010. Now, I did have a few honorable mentions 
that were really tough not to get in the top 10. I know, and one of them is Ed Hardy's Love and Luck. You know, I love that one, but the longevity in that isn't as good as the other fresh scents that I have picked for this top 10. That's the only reason why. And another one was uh, 212 Men from Carolina Herrera. Excellent scent. You know, very well deserving of the top 10. There were just a uh, couple others that I liked a little bit better. And I had Tom Ford's Gray Vetiver. I love that one, but, uh, you know, clean vetivers really aren't my trip. I like the, the dirtier vetivers a lot better, but for a clean one, that one is excellent as hell. So those are a few honorable mentions, and uh, that's it, guys. Next up will be top 10 niche fragrances for 2010. But you guys take care, and we'll see you soon.